Hello, everybody, and welcome to Local Edition. I'm your host, Ben McCain. Our guest is Torrance Councilman Cliff Newmark. Councilman Newmark, always a pleasure having you on the program. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us about the South Bay Bicycle Master Plan. It's my understanding you want people riding their bikes, but of course you want them to be safe. That's absolutely right. Well, Ben, the, the, a group of cyclists in the South Bay gathered together in a very kind of ad hoc grassroots fashion. They said, you know what, we need to make sure that we want to encourage people to ride their bikes, but we want to make sure that there's a network so that folks can ride their bikes safely throughout the South Bay. So they submitted a grant to the County of Los Angeles, it was accepted, and now uh, there's a task force of which I'm a member along with other city officials to try to create this master plan um, and it includes a number of different measures. Right now we're actually going through workshops so folks can contribute to see uh, what they think about actually having more cycling lanes uh, throughout throughout the South Bay. I think that's a, a great idea. I'm telling you, you see people riding and uh, sometimes motorists just don't pay attention. I mean, it, right. it, it, you're taking your life into your own hands when you are riding a bike. That's absolutely right. So a couple of the measures they're looking for is actually creation of more bicycle lanes, but also there's a concept called sharrows, which is a sh essentially a shared access uh, arrow. So uh, basically it signals to the the cars that there's actually maybe some cyclists coming along the way so to be extra careful well we we look forward to hearing more about the progress uh, the progress of this master plan state of california we keep hearing figures uh, 25 to 29 billion dollars in debt how is this going to be affecting the city of, of torrance i know you guys have continued to make cuts uh, school districts have continued to make cuts what's going to happen cliff well this the budget in California seems to be a never-ending saga and the good news I think is that the budget that has been proposed by the governor really is a no smoke and mirrors budget and, but it is very difficult and painful across the board uh, not just in cities and other local governments but also for folks who are receiving aid for medical care for, um, for, for mental health, uh, for, for schools, for a number of other measures. So um, one of the major impacts on local government is a proposal by the governor to eliminate what's called redevelopment agency funding. This is a situation that allows cities and, cities and counties, uh, cities primarily, to take areas that are blighted and allow them to actually develop a property. So for example, if you go to downtown Torrance today, it looks a lot different than it did 30 years ago. And one of the reasons why it looks different is because of redevelopment funds. So those funds the governor's proposing would just be taken away outside of the legal obligations uh, for paying off debt from prior projects. Uh, that money would then be used to fund uh, schools and other local, uh, other, other local functions. Are we as a state, the citizens of this state, really ready to make those sacrifices? It's, it's, you know, and that's what the governor, that's really the question the governor's asking. It's someone, it's all bad decisions. These are all bad decisions. From a local government standpoint, the lo typical local government answer would be we need redevelopment funds, funds to help basically create economic development, to take an area that's blighted and actually make it good so that folks want to shop there and, and do business there. Uh, but you have to, it's a trade-off because if, if these funds don't come about, then the government, gover governor may have to cut schools more, cut uh, uh, health care for, for, um, for poor people more, may have to cut universities. It's a series of bad decisions. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's going to be an interesting process to see um, how, how it gets straightened out. We've got just a few seconds left. Tell us about the Battle of the Badges with the Red Cross. We know you are president of the Blood Drive for the Red Cross. Sure, I'm the CEO of the Red Cross for Southern California and the Battle of Badges is a campaign to get badge carrying agencies to compete to see who can donate the most blood. And in fact, we actually went from 333 people participating to about 4,600 last year. We're going for 5,500 and it's a great way to save lives. 1-800-RED-CROSS. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Torrance Councilman Cliff Newmark. I'm your host, Ben McCain. Thanks for watching Local Edition. Headline news will continue after these messages.